Hey guys, welcome back to Paracord Planet. Today we're making a 95 cord bracelet. I was browsing Paraborneo's Instagram page, which I'll link in the description, and came across a bracelet design that I really liked. He didn't have a tutorial for it though, and so I, this is my best guess at how it was made. Um, I don't think it is quite correct. I think he's using more of a conquistador, and this is more of a flat braid, but we'll try it and see how it goes. So I'll be using a 5 8 inch buckle to give it that nice flat wide weave, and then about 10 feet of Imperial Red 95, and about two to three feet of Goldenrod 95. And it's very important that we make this one on a jig to keep those middle strands tight. Let's dive in. So to set up this one, we'll begin by clipping our buckle in. And then this one's a little bit unusual in that we'll be tying the cord onto each side of the buckle. We don't want the center strands to be in the center the ones that are gonna stay straight are gonna be on the outer edge for this one. So with just a foot or foot and a half of cord, I'm gonna do a foot and a half just so I have extra to tie my knots. We'll take one strand and bring it up through the loop. Then I'm just gonna attach it using a like barrel knot or half a fisherman's knot, really. That just involves wrapping it around a few times before coming up through our loop. Then on the bottom end, it's a good idea to set your jig just a little bit small before we begin. It'll make our knots and pull it tight afterwards. So same thing on the bottom end. So now our center strands are nice and tight and we can clip these ends just to keep them out of the way and melt them before we move on with our weaving. So next with our red cord, before we can weave it, we need to break it down into a couple pieces. So we want two cords that are gonna be four feet long each, and then one that's gonna be two feet long. All right, that should take care of your 10 feet, since we've got four feet, eight feet, and then two feet more to make our 10 feet. We'll take those two foot sections and fold them in half. Those are gonna be cow hitched onto the buckle, just like a normal bracelet. Bring it down through and stick the ends of your cords through that loop. Do that with the second one too. Now you can see why we had to use that 5 8 inch buckle to fit everything on there. And then right in the middle of them, we're just gonna tie on our last cord here to make a total of five weaving cords. And we'll just do that like we did the, the yellow ones here. All right, now we are finally ready to weave. So we'll take those five cords and take the side ones away. Then we have our three left in the middle. Those are just going to stay there for now. We'll take the right side cord and we're just going to half hitch it onto our yellow cord. So that means we'll bring it to the outside and then bring the end right up through here. So that's called a half hitch. We'll do that for the left side as well. We just want that working end, our loose end here, coming up to the top so that it's anchored in place. Now we're gonna take the three middle cords and just start a normal three strand braid. So we'll take this right side cord, bring it over to the middle, left side cord over to the middle. And we're not gonna go any farther than that. 
Now we're gonna incorporate our outside cords again. So we'll take this side, the one with two middle cords on it, and this one's already half hitched to the outside. So now we're gonna start weaving it across the middle. So we'll first go under and then over in just a simple weave pattern like that. We're always gonna start with an under first. Now we can take this cord here and do the same thing. Under, over. We're starting with even steps on each side, but eventually we want to get to where all of the cords are on one side, and then we can weave them across and just kind of keep them together that way. It's easier to, to do in the long run and easier to hold on to all of your cords and keep them tight. So now we'll take the one with the three cords and we're gonna half hitch that one onto the side, just taking that upper cord each time. Pull that tight. And then weave it across to the other side. So again, under and then over. We'll do that with these two cords to bring them over to this other side. So next in line here, half hitch it to the edge. Holding these cords tight, we'll pull this one tight as well, just to cinch up that weave. And then this cord only has one to weave with, so it's gonna go under. I should note that we're staying on top of the yellow cords all this time. We're just going over and under the reds. Now with that last cord, Half hitch it onto the side. And pull it tight. And as this one does not have any cords to weave with, we're gonna leave it on that side. So now moving on to our left side cords, we'll take that upper one, and just like on the right side, half hitch it onto the edge. Keep these cords tight all this time as we pull that one tight and then weave it across. This is the most cords we'll have to weave. So it goes underneath the first, over the second, under the third. And then we'll keep going with this right side, half hitch that next cord on. Across, under, over, next cord, half hitch onto the edge, weave it across, so it just goes under the one, half hitch that last cord on. and it has nothing to weave, so we leave it on that side. And we'll begin again with the right side. We'll keep on going with that pattern, being sure to tighten evenly as we go until we get to the end. So when we get to the end, we should have pretty much the same setup as when we started. These two cords that are half hitched onto the side and our three cords down the middle. You can end these three middle cords however you want. The side cords are good enough to cut where they are. They're tied nice and tight. Um, but if we want to make it look a little bit more uniform, we can take these three cords and feed them through the end buckle. Here, I'm going to take it off the jig too so we can get out the bottom side. 
So you can just thread them through to the bottom side. And then if we have a knotter's tool or a fit or something, we can kind of pick at one of those last weaves and string these back a little ways. Otherwise, you can cut them where they are too and melt them there. So I'm gonna do that. Just kind of pulling out one of these. I'm actually gonna take out a type one fid so we can thread it through easy. But again, you guys can finish it off however you want. And then before you cut off your ends, just make sure that it didn't mess up your pattern on the top. If you need to, you can kind of tighten whatever cord it pulled loose and clip the ends right there and melt them against. So there is our flat 95 braid. If you want inspiration for similar projects that use 95 cord, be sure to check out Pear Borneo's Instagram. We'll put a link to his profile down in the description to this video. We'll also put links to the supplies that we used, so that's this 95 cord and the 5 8 inch buckle. And we also have regular 550 cord in our store if you prefer that for your projects. Thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you next time.